Here we're going to tie a Madam X dry fly. First thing we're going to do is just start our thread near the eye of the hook. We're going to take it back just a few turns, about the distance of two eyes away. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to take some deer hair and we're going to put it inside of a stacker. We're going to tap that stacker till the tips of our deer hair are nice and even. This is going to be our tail. Then we're going to measure out this deer hair. We want it to be no longer than half of the shank of the hook, so I just kind of hold it towards the back where I want it, pinch it in place, and I'm just going to simply trim the deer hair where I'm going to tie it in at. Then I'm going to take that deer hair, I'm going to creep my fingers forward so I'm holding just the ends of the, the deer hair, and I'm going to tie this in right at the front here. As I creep my thread back, I'm going to take that deer hair and I'm going to pull it up slightly at an angle. This is going to help it stay right on top of the shank of the hook and keep it from rolling from side to side. I'm going to trim out any of the extra pieces here that got caught. Now I'm just going to build up a little body with my thread. You can use floss for this step as well. I usually actually skip the floss and just use my thread. I like to use UTC thread which is already a bit flossy in nature so it builds nice smooth bodies already. And I'm just gonna go back and forth a couple of times here just to build up a nice tapered body. Now once I have a nice body tapered, I'm ready to tie in the head and the wing, which we do at the same time. I'm going to use another clump of deer hair, about the same size, about a third the diameter of a pencil. Got to be very careful not to use too much at this point. And I'm also going to drop this into my hair stacker. Now ideally we want this wing to be just a hair shorter than our tail. You can make it roughly the same length, but you definitely don't want it to be longer than your tail. Now we need to make some room up at the head. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to tie this deer hair in facing forward, then we're going to fold it back up over itself to make a bullet style head. So we have to compensate for that fold and leave a little bit of extra deer hair hanging off of the end here so we can have room for that bullet head. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to leave about an eighth of an inch of extra hair on the end there. That'll leave me a little bit of extra room for my bullet head. And we're going to tie this in facing forward, the butt ends facing back, just like so. And we've got to very carefully do this with our left hand with our right hand pinching the hair. It actually takes a little bit of practice. So all I'm going to do is just capture that deer hair. We want this deer hair to stay right on top of the shank of the hook as well if I can. I don't want it to roll to the underside at all if I can avoid that. And we want to tie this all the way to the hook eye. I want my thread wraps to be right up against that hook eye. That way when we pull them back, we don't have a, a gap. Now all we're going to do is we're going to build up a very similar body up here at the head like I did at the back with my floss. Here we go. Now you can see I have a little indent right here. That's perfect. That's where I'm going to keep my thread and I'm going to capture the the bullet of the head here. So I'm going to take that deer hair and I'm going to pull it up and back. And then I'm going to lay down a couple of nice tight wraps to capture it. 
and we have formed our bullet head with our deer hair. Now the next thing to do is to tie in our rubber legs. For this I just used some white round rubber legs. You can use brown if you don't like the looks of white classically. The white is what is used for this fly. I'm just going to tie these in on each side here. I'm going to do a nice loose wrap to capture it and I can place them on the side of the fly. And I do this on each side. I'm going to pull down tight and do another couple wraps. Now traditionally the Madame X, you kind of angle the legs so the back legs go up and the front legs go down. That's how the fly is tied and how it is preferred to be set and splatted on the water. Now once we've done that, I'm just going to trim my legs, front legs just a little bit here so I can get in with my whip finisher. I'm going to whip finish right on top of those legs, right behind the bullet head. You can pull tight. Then you can trim your legs. I like the front legs to be fairly short, about a half an inch or so, and then I like the back legs to reach back all the way to the tail. Kind of like a hopper. A little bit longer on the back end than the front. And once you've got everything finished, you can take a little bit of super glue. I like to add just a dab to the thread wraps and I'll also add some to the bullet head as well. That way it doesn't come undone. And that's all there is to a parachute Madam X. Fairly easy fly to tie. Not a parachute Madam X, I'm sorry, just a standard Madam X. Very easy fly to tie. It's been around for a long time. Still fools fish even to this day.